My husband and I bought this farm in 1981. There were no buildings here but the dairy barn. We were in a large debt for farmland and then had to borrow more to develop it. And so we found ourselves struggling with FSA. And as I tell my counterpart farmers, no, your cows don't discriminate against you. Mine don't either. Well, where we have the problems is when I go to the bank and sit down there in front of the banker, it's much easier for you to borrow money. It's much easier for you to tell him that you're having problems. It's much easier. One of my friends told me, he said, well, I'll just get him on the, on the golf course and uh, we'll talk about this thing. Well, I didn't have the opportunity to get him on the golf course, nor any other course other than straight across the desk. It didn't take long for me to realize that they were pissing in my face and it wasn't raining. Every time I would go in and take a seat, I would let them know who I wanted to see. He was not available. And then someone else would come in and they could go right in to see them. We worked hard enough, but once you get the deck stacked against you, it's, it's kind of hard to equalize and, and even that debt. And so we wound up losing some of the land. And I started looking at the movement. I began to rally around and talk to different people, and I started to look at what was not happening in our little community, who the voices were we depended on to talk for us. And I found that there weren't any. And so we formed Operation Spring Plant out of a need. We learned that at some time, rubber needs to meet the road. We began to form cooperatives and we began to get people structured so that they could grow and sell fresh fruits and vegetables. And if you can't show a young person that I can make a living, then you're just wasting your time. They have to come back to the farm to understand the wealth of the land. That's been our job to bring ours back to see that there's real wealth here. The goals that we're trying to establish is lifetime things for the next generation, a guide, a toolbox for them to use moving forward.